Fala aí, pessoal. Temos aqui hoje. Deu com ideia de novo, mano. Não tem, né? A dublagem aí da. Assim. AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel. One of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Lewis tune his piano. He opened up to me. Lewis is a great friend. Those are rare. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Lewis. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. start I was so little and, and Mitch looked after me people said he was a dick sometimes but he was always nice to me now he's gone stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name look I promise you Willie The people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. And then bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Abel's tied up in the basement. He passed out from the pain. Thanks. AJ wanted to stay down there and keep an eye on him. Hey, buddy. It's time for us to bury Mitch and say our goodbyes. I'll help you. Get away from him! You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Really? Well, it's true! We had a plan and that idiot messed it up! Easy, Willie. Even if it's true, you can't lash out. We've all got to take care of each other. You think it's true? Ten! Let me handle this. Talk to Abel. See if you can't find out where Lily took Vi, Omar, and Asim. I wanted to hurt him, you know, to make him talk, but... 
I just couldn't. Maybe you'll get more out of him than I did. Should be strong enough to hold him. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. <sighs> Ready? This afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> you got any water? Other than what you already dumped on me. I mean drink. A good man or squirt? He gets nothing. If we give him water, maybe he'll atone. Nothing until after he's told us what we need to know. You aren't fooling anyone with the hard act. I can tell you never done this before. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> You better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but Lily won't make the same mistake twice. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed-off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <coughs> Lily will never give them up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me, the three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another, from Richmond to the coast, back at the Delta, we're at war, with some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say, point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. A 
do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? The smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. I'm out of patience, Abel. Tell me where Lily went. Yeah. Now! <coughs> That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? We have medicine. We can still patch him up. I don't think so. When you push me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> no medicine can fix this. <laughs> Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <laughs> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will. For my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. How about this? How about you tell me everything you know, and then we'll see. I need assurances. <laughs> That's as good as you're gonna get. Hurry up, Abel. You don't have much time. You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't let me become one of those things. Try me. <laughs> what if they... What if they can feel it? When they turn. Well, you'll find out soon enough. Maybe you just end up trapped along for the ride. There are people trapped inside walkers? Yeah, yeah. That's why you put a bullet in them, if they're gonna turn. Or maybe that's why you let them. Okay, okay. <coughs> In my boot, you'll find a paper with everything you need to know. AJ, check his boot. We have a boat. <laughs> that paper shows the miles to the nearest stops. Those words, their city names. We use them like a call and response. Make sure we don't go shooting our own. Only one we use these days is Rockingham. I can't believe you actually got me to give that up. You, you got what you wanted. Please. 
Don't let me become one of those things. Please. I don't want to turn. Not that. I want to let me keep my face. AJ, don't look away. I want you to see this. I want to. <laughs> At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Come on, we have a boat to find. Esse moleque vai processar isso daí, vai usar pro nosso lado, né? É difícil. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was! Mitch died because he- Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, there it is. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. Are those torches? I think so. Could be easy fire. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way.
we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. More torches. Torches? We could use the fire. Oh, yeah. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. Sheet metal. Wood and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Have you ever seen this thing before? No way. Pretty sure I would have remembered an old timey riverboat. And from where I'm sitting, looks like that pier is the only way inside. Well, let's see what else is down there. There are a few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Wait, I see Violet. Holy shit. This is really it. We found them. I can see an entrance. Yeah. There's one at the other end of the boat, too. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. Don't boats have brigs? Boat jails. Maybe, but where? Now that, I, I, I don't know. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Water! Now we just need what, a dozen walkers? How hard could that be? Maybe not as hard as you'd think. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. the plan well they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat there's no way we can take them all at once our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board we should burn their stuff that'd work we could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses whatever we don't burn we should take ruby would love to have the horses but i'd rather steal those supplies i could build traps weapons yeah, we'll steal their supplies, and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen.
Well, hell yeah. Let's find out how much he charges for his services. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the Raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it. people you steal I don't know what you're <laughs> I'm not fucking around answer the question <laughs> the boiler deck <laughs> second deck they're all there Clem stop oh. hey Minnie After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. Okay. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Merlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... <laughs> like they did before. <laughs> you ruined the whole plan. What are you talking about? Marlin traded you and Sophie like it was nothing. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. That is some grade-A horse shit. Clem saved us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. <laughs> what? Minerva? <laughs> Where's Sophie? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you... Minerva! Shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. If Ten could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister. Are you okay? It doesn't change anything. We still have to get onto that boat. He 
You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Be safe. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. Wanting to hurt somebody. I know it's hard, AJ. But thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Uh, waiting's hard. I'm just thinking too much. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. He just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, why don't we teach them? They're smart. Someone just has to show them what to do. Yeah. I want Tim to know how to be safe. We can show them how to be smart, like us. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend.
I don't see James. Just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. Vida do Rio. Vai aqui muito Dá pra derrubar, né? Aí. We'll draw them away. Are you okay? Yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will walkers save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide, to sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. It's 
safe. Just a little further. 